Fellini Restaurant here in the Gold Coast. We've got a beautiful day in here. Today I'll be preparing uh, an ocean trout dish. Since we have on the menu, we'll be covering the poppy seeds and serving it with a wild saffron sauce. With some vegetables, some potato and zucchini and leaf. Right, freshness is important. We live on the Gold Coast here and we adapt a lot of our foods to our climate, to what we have here, and also to the freshness and availability of, uh, of foods. Um, here I'm using a farm ocean trout. Uh, you can see the freshness, the colour. Ocean trout has a lot more fat, a fat more fat content, also within the Atlantic salmon, which allows the fish upon the cooking to be a lot moisture when you have the finished product. So I've got the fillet of Atlantic salmon here. I've taken out when you purchase the fillet, you will generally have pin bones. Now the pin bones are the rib bones that run along the, the top edge of the foot and the foot. And it's a simple process of picking out the bones as such. Now, in any dish, it's important to use or to utilize all of the parts of the fish. Less wastage means more profits for the owners and for the business itself. So what I end up doing here is trimming the Atlantic salmon, following where the pin bones are, removing any, any part of the flesh that has the bones through it. Trim up, up to the tail, keeping the tail, the belly part of the fish, pieces here, I'm creating a, a, a rectangular shape keeping all the, the fatty part that comes up the top of the fish. So from here, these pieces will be chopped roughly. The bones will part them part of the spine removed. Then from here, placed into the food processor up here. Now, working in the kitchen, we like that we use a little about five senses. We use the touch of the food, we use our sight, we can see the freshness of the food. The, the taste comes last, we can eat food cooking, um, we can smell food. So it's one of the five senses that one of, oh, it's one of the jobs. So one of the jobs that we have that we utilize as all five senses rather than working with an office for me. Don't no, no longer use that. Now, from the food processor, egg whites. The eggs are separated. I'll place a couple of egg whites into the, the ocean trout fish. Add some seasoning, some salt. I'm using sea salt here. From the food processor, after it's been processed. Now the consistency of the mousse should be quite firm, nice and smooth. Ocean trap. We get some clean fish. Lay that on the board. Nice slight cut. And from the process of lay the paste the loose. Onto the clean board, smoothing out with the loose. Nice even coating. So approximately the same size as the, the fillet of ocean trout. Check the fillet size. You need quite a bit to cover the both sides. Now, ocean trout. Serve the side of the fish. The skin side places onto the mousse with a thin fill. Roll it over. Gently press on the, on the fish itself. On that one, 
release out and that releases the mousse onto the fish itself. Nice smooth deprivation, removing the, the thing right off. And there's the fish covered with the um, mousse. From here, the green poppy seeds, the sprinkle to coat the fish, ensuring when you do so, to put the generous amount on the sides on the bottom. Again, roll on the thing wrap, pick the actual fish up, turn it over, and then repeat that process again. From there, it comes over, the actual fish itself is coated, nice smooth, even coating. Poppy seeds well and truly covered. Here, place it up again, roll it to the original position, folding the fish over, and from here, place onto the tray, put that in the refrigerator, then overnight for sure. That, that will allow the mousse to settle, to strengthen up, to attach itself to the fish and also the firm up ready for preparation for service. From the ocean trout, it's left into the cool room, overnight to settle down, trim the trout by cutting through the clean wrap, removing the excess pieces of mousse. From here, portion out the fish to the portion sizes to what you wish on requires. We use around about approximately 200 grams, two to 220 grams worth of washing fillets per serve. Cut straight through the clean wrap, making sure that there's no nice even cut and that presents the, the fillet of fish as such on here. Okay, once the fish is cut, ready for service, it's a simple matter of removing the clean wrap straight off the fish upright, ensuring when you do that that the clean wrap is completely intact and you've got left no residual pieces of the clean wrap for that. I use olive oil for cooking, but I'll always finish the product with extra virgin olive oil. It comes down to cost and effectiveness. Olive oil puts out a lot of flavour when it's heated through, adds shine to the food at the end of the product. So again, fly pan, nice high heat. Fish is coated nicely with the puppy seed, nice even coating. I will season the fish. And with the sea salt again, place into the pan. As I was saying earlier, you can hear food cooking, you can hear the, the oil reacting with the, the moisture out that's coming out of the fish. I'm sure no sticking, which means the pan is hot. The pan was not hot enough, but the find is that the fish itself will stick to the pan and that will destroy a lot of the hard work that we've just gone through to make the mousse so it gives a nice even coating over the fillet of the fish. Once the fish is sealed, on the one side, we can turn the fish over. Again, making sure we're ensuring that the fish does not stick to the pan. And here you can see on the top it's got a light covering of the, the, the actual fish itself. From here I'll be placing that into the oven. So I'll pull oven around 100 degrees. Then I will flash that in the oven for approximately 3 to 4 minutes. The sauce, the preparation for the sauce. What we have here at Fellini, we're after the freshness of the ingredients, which creates a vibrant colour and flavour to the foods of the use. The potato that I use on this one, we use the trades by all times, a potato with the, the dirt on it. It keeps the potato in a better condition and it stops the chemical reaction of the sunlight towards the potato. The potato itself is quickly nice.
to approximately half a centimetre cubes. From here, place into a pot or a pan, place in the stove with some water to boil. From the pan, put the potato in, strain the potato, once it's come straight to the boil, take off the water, off the heat, strain, lift the cool water slightly. So you can leave that one in slightly. Down, come down there. Once the potato is cooled down, I will place that into the container for later use. Same protein, I'll add a touch of butter. Again, washing up in a hard job to do with your hand and do the washing up, so I try and make it work a lot easier for people to do the wash up later on. So they help us and they help us and we help them at the same time. Now, I have zucchini in the sauce. It comes with preparation. Again, everything is cut. The zucchini cut into half centimetre glasses. Leak, fresh leak, leak. Everything is cut uniform size, which allows the cooking process. Again, tomato, it's filtered, seeds are removed, leaving the, the fillet, the flesh part of the tomato, cutting into, again, five, five millimetre, half centimetre cube. Nice. Potato, leek, onion, I'm sorry, leek, and it's hard. From the oven, check in the fish. I will turn the fish over. Once you see the fish, we have a nice brown coloring. Touching the fish for the fish. Simply flash that one. Add the butter, it's getting through, I'll add to that leek. I'll use the butter in here because I'm after a nice soft sauce to go with it. I don't want a high heat with oil. oil. That's what a higher thing what the butter has, what the butter has, and the will of the house to do it quickly there to be a lot softer. Stirring through, passing over the lid, cutting out the butter, that's what we say, sweating the trees off. Now, I'll add the hard vegetables to that. It's clean, which is nice. The potatoes, which we cooked, blanched, and trimmed down earlier. The saffron adds colour to the food, to the sauce, also adding flavour and aroma. From here, splash your white wine. Let the white wine reduce down and incorporate that salt in with the butter.
from here. This is Pushka. We're moving in the, the ground parts from the leaves, stuck to the bottom of the side of the fence. That's good for the section of the plate. Let this one reduce down slightly. This will keep on a consistency in the circle for the source which we require for the actual dish. It also allows the, the natural colours to come out of the saffron to infuse the sauce. Season. And then I'll add Diced tomato. Tomato only needs to be heated through. It adds colour to the dish as well as flavour. Try to make the colour as bright. Now, it's cooking, it's Italian cooking, we're using the colours of the flag. So you've got the, the red, the white, and the green of the, the flag as with the food. You find it here, you have the red of the tomato, the white, and the red of the salt, and the green of the skin. Finish it off with some chives, some fresh chives, which I'll just quickly toss through the sauce. Great, they're inconsistent um, legs. Check the seasoning. on the plate and some of the sauce drizzle around now from the pan remove the ocean trout cut on the and we cut it on an angle, straight through, showing that the ocean trout itself is still pink inside, nice more warmth to it without being overcooked. Place on the plate, we get a drizzle now of extra virgin olive oil, that adds shine colour, depth and texture to the dish. I will finish it with a couple of sprigs of chives ready for service.